Today we have this 1957 Remington Quiet Rider, vintage portable typewriter. I'm gonna show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. The margins are located behind the paper here. Right there and right there. You just push them down and move them like this. And that's where you'll stop on the page. Once you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin. You hit this line space, gets you back to the beginning and skips one, two, or three. Right now we have it on single, but if you want double, you just flip that switch down, it skips two. Push it down one more, it skips three, works good. As you can see, all the keys type nice and none of them skip or stick. I'll type a sentence on the next line. Really nice typing machine, very popular model. Back in this time area, this was one of the most popular portables and Remington also made some of the best rifles and this kind of feels it's got the feel of a rifle when you type on it made in America out of really nice you know durable metal and really sturdy to pull the paper out easy you just flip this switch forward right here and it'll unlock the rollers underneath the platen, allowing you to fold the paper out easy or load thicker paper like carbon copy or cardstock. Make sure you flip that down before you load the next page or else it will not load correctly. It's got a shift on each side here and the shift lock on each side. To clear that, you just hit that shift button again. Backspace on the left side, works good. Tab function. Gonna stop at each one of these tabs so we're gonna clear each one of these and set new ones right now we should have no tabs all tabs clear so this is how you clear it you push it down there's a c for clear and then you push it up for there's an s for set so we set one right where we are and we're gonna hit the tab button and it stops right at that spot so you hit that clear button clear it again and it's clear we're gonna set one right in the middle just in case that tab button gets hit accidentally, it doesn't go slamming all the way to the end, causing wear and tear. And you can set as many tabs as you want on this model. This is your touch control one, two, and three. The higher you go, the harder it is. You gotta hit the keys to make them strike. This is like a tension control. I like a low tension, so I keep it on one. Open the hood, you got your spools. All the brand new ribbon is loaded on the left side here, so it's pulling clockwise to the right. And if you want to switch that direction, you just flip this switch to the right and it'll pull to the left counterclockwise. And if you get to the end of the ribbon on either side, it might jam up your vibrator and make it seem like your typewriter is malfunctioning, but you just need to change the direction. This is your color selector switch. Right now we have a solid black ribbon and it's hitting the top portion of that ribbon. But if you had a black and red ribbon, the red portion would be on the bottom so you'd switch that to the right side and that vibrator goes up higher to make it hit the bottom portion of the ribbon and that works good and that is about it there is a margin release you get to the end of the margin there's a locking mechanism that automatically stops you from typing so you don't type over the same uh, character but if you hit that margin release it'll allow you to type past that margin and uh, keep the carriage moving so you don't type over the same character all the way to the end of the carriage. And that's about it. Now available on eBay or Etsy. Search Brooksaw Antiques.